Here is another liver. I think you'll recognize that quickly if you haven't already. Please note that uh, we have a couple of things going on here which might have made it difficult for you to recognize this as being liver very quickly. First of all, uh, there are scattered collections of inflammatory cells, chiefly in portal areas, but also in non-portal areas as well. Secondly, the liver cells look considerably swollen, and therefore they lose their normal uh, appearance of having sinusides and cords. So this is an acutely swollen liver uh, in which uh, there are collections of uh, chiefly acute inflammatory cells in the portal area. And you know this is a portal area because you could see bile ducts over here. So we instantly suspect hepatitis, don't we? Viral hepatitis. And in all honesty, oh and also look at this. Also there has been some uh, bile, which uh, because of this uh, acute destructive process is showing up as being little pigments here. If you ask me why can't this be hemosiderin, I could say, well, technically it could be, but it looks more like bile. It's a little bit yellower, although don't ever rely just on color to differentiate the two because you'll be wrong. I assume it's bile here because uh, when you have an acutely swollen liver, the bile backs up. It's another cause of uh, cholestasis. But notice also there is no deposition of fibrous tissue within this liver, and there's no nodules, so it is not cirrhosis. It is just an acute uh, hepatitis. Now, there are probably a lot of people that can go through the differential as to why this is one type of hepatitis versus another. I'm not that smart. I'm not that fancy. So I just have to, in, for the purposes of sanity, when somebody asks me to give the differential of uh, a viral hepatitis, I go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, because right now we're up to seven different types of viruses. And I know there are subtle features uh, histologically to differentiate between the two. But on a really smart day, besides A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I might remember that CMV, Epstein-Barr virus, herpes virus, yellow fever virus, adenoviruses are also common uh, infectors of liver. This one happens to be the yellow fever virus. Um, I guess it's called yellow because all of this uh, bile stasis is going on secondary to the acute hepatocyte swelling. And I guess it's called fever because like every other acute phase of hepatitis, it's associated with the fever. Thank you very much, acute hepatitis of the yellow fever virus.